Episode 7 of All of Us Are Dead begins with Shadow Gamma Group moving through various rooms, wiping out the infected and trying to find survivors. Fronting this pack is Jae Joon, who managed to help secure the area, only he winds up beaten in the neck for his troubles and quickly turns. Meanwhile, Soju survives, managing to swim from the island back to the mainland. I'm not sure how far that was, but when he makes it back, he is no longer bleeding that heavily, and he rushes across the open fields to safety. Elsewhere, Namra is grateful for So Hyuk's faith in her. So Hyuk admits that the others are really scared and he's doing this to try and help quell their fear. According to Namra, she managed to stave off her cravings thanks to hearing So Hyuk's voice in her head. As they talk, So Hyuk admits that he likes her. Yeonji, meanwhile, makes it to the nurse office. She admits she is starting to get hungry to Yongnam, who covers on the bed as he watches her head over to the fish tank and eat the fish raw. I mean, if you're hungry, I guess you'll eat anything. Yeonji turns her attention to Yongnam, who tries to defend himself. Unfortunately, he's turned into a zombie too. Somehow, Namra can hear this take place with heightened hearing, which seems to be a knock-on effect to being bitten. Now, it's important to note here that Yongnam is just a normal zombie, so the rules are a little hazy over who gets to be a super zombie. Outside in the parking lot, Guinam runs into his old buddy Myung Hwan, who happens to still be alive and hiding under a car. He slaps Guinam several times before telling him to run for the car across the way. Only Guinam sacrifices him to the rohod, unwilling to be pushed around anymore. Guinam is calling the shots now. Inside the music room, Onju and Namra patch up their differences. They immediately set to work formulating a plot to escape. Their destination is the roof but their plan is a risky one. They set up a foundation to block the zombies in one side of the room, using music to lure them all in, in the hope that their barrier will hold a whole sea of zombies flood into the room. Alongside the singing, Onju bashes cymbals while Desu screams at the top of his lungs, more and more zombies pile in. Downstairs, Minji and the gang try to build a makeshift stretcher to bring an injured John Seung outside. It breaks quickly though, leading Miran and the others to try and build a more stable one next time. And that's it, that's about all the scene setting we get for this travel group. Jake and Ho Chul manage to make it to safety with the baby and the little girl. Aboard the delivery bike, they make it to the suburbs where, would you believe it, the online influencer happens to be. However, the good Jake decides to help while Ho Chul looks for a solution to save them both. Over at the quarantine island, Sun Mu is the man in charge. He speaks to the assembly woman who urges them to mobilize and try to get the kids out the school. She also confirms that's where Soju is heading. On Seon Mu's order, they bring in a Black Hawk helicopter and begin surveying the area. While they do, she also happens to be up on the roof but the doors are obviously locked. Unfortunately, the kids are stuck and with she also refusing to open the door, they use a tarp to hold the zombies off for the time being. Unfortunately, it doesn't hold. Guinam soon figures out where they are and manages to come face to face with his foes. He looks at Chungsun and gives a menacing grin.